the Keto CTA study. This is, and I'm just going to give a quick brief overview, 100 individual keto diet induced increased cholesterol levels, specifically LDL cholesterol of 190 milligrams per deciliter or higher, HDL cholesterol of 60 milligrams per deciliter or higher, and triglycerides of 80 milligrams per deciliter or higher, who were followed for one year using CT angiography. All 200 scans were completed in February of 2024. The average age of our cohort was 55.3 years of age. This was great because with an average duration on keto of 4.5 years, with a little less than half that, with detectable plaque, a little less than half of our cohort with detectable plaque and the semi-quantitative analysis, we have a good pool to capture progression. What I really want to do is I want to drill in on the 10 participants with the very lowest non-calcified plaque volume in the first scan. Because I really want you to sit with this for a second. There is exactly one person who had a zero on both the first scan and on the second scan. But there are four total who had a zero on the first scan. These are the first four. There's yet to be a green bar, but the green bar would be what their first scan is. Their first scan was a true zero in non-calcified plaque volume. But the second scan for three of the four is 3.9 millimeters cubed, 9.2 millimeters cubed, and 13.6 millimeters cubed. Now let me add the other six. Oh. So the other six, again, the green is the first scan. The red is the second scan one year later. So again, these green bars don't just represent the average age of 50.8 that preceded keto. They also represent the average 4.5 years on keto with an average LDL cholesterol of 254 milligrams per deciliter. I realize I'm chatting to, with an international audience. So if I'm doing my math right, it's around six millimoles. Not, not sure though. Uh, Anthony will probably correct me wherever he's at. Altogether, the quantitative analysis for the bottom 10 participants in scan one has a total of 14.2 millimeters cubed of non-calcified plaque volume. Yet for scan two, it is a total of 69.9 millimeters cubed, a difference of 55.7 millimeters cubed, which is a nearly five times increase. Nothing like this has been seen in any other study that I'm aware of. And it is in striking disagreement with our semi-quantitative analysis of the same scans. I don't know that I can emphasize this strongly enough.